took a deep breath in the mirror He didn't like it when I wore high heels But I do Turn the lock and put my headphones on He always said he didn't get this song But I do I do Walked in expecting you'd be late But you got here early and you're standing late I walked to you You pulled my chair out and helped me in and You don't know how nice that is But I do You throw your head back laughing like a Little kid, I think it's strange that you think I'm funny cause he never did. I've been spending the last eight months thinking all love ever does is break and burn and end on a Wednesday in a cafe. I watched it begin again. You said you never met one girl who had as many James Taylor records as you But I do We tell stories and you don't know why I'm coming off a little shy But I do I think it's strange that you think I'm funny cause he never did And I've been spending the last eight months thinking all love ever does is break and burn and end But on a Wednesday in a cafe I watched it begin again Hi everyone and welcome back to the Nerdy Girl music series. I have taken a little break, but as we enter into the fall months, I wanted to bring this series back and I just have been making those connections between songs and um, sort of poetry or literature and I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, this week I've decided to sing Begin Again by Taylor Swift. It's one of my favorite songs of all times. It's just so rich in uh, imagery and experience and meaning, and it's just a great song. <laughs> I uh, chose it because my sort of words for the year, my motto has been all things new. I think I really wanted to experience like the depths of, of who I am and, and be as real as I possibly could be. I see that, that this world needs newness. And... I think after this pandemic and after the craziness, like we're so excited for a new year um, for 2021. It could not come uh, fast enough. And, and in the song, Taylor Swift is saying like, she's been heartbroken and um, this person doesn't know why she's maybe acting a little bit shy or, but she, she knows and she knows like what she's been through. Um, but she's really surprised by this new person who shows her kindness and who shows her um, love and who recognizes who she is. And um, that's really beautiful. And, and to think about kind of this idea of even after you've been heartbroken, even after you've gone through pain, like there's still something for you. That's such a powerful thought. And I think it's a thought that we all need um, and, and can provide such hope in, in painful times, this idea of like, even though it's really hard right now, uh, there is something in the future. And I wanted to read some words from one of my favorite poets, um, a woman by the name of Morgan Harper Nichols. Let this be the October you always remember. The October you chose to believe that there was more to your future than you are able to see. 
the October where you learned to trust that after everything happened in time, you would grow. You would grow in the courage to open up again. And you could look forward to the new unknowns, believing that no matter what would happen, you would still grow. You would still be worthy of love, even though you were made to feel you were not good enough. Let this be the October you choose to rise above. Let this be the October where everything changed and you decided you were free to move on, heal, and never be the same. You don't know how nice that is, but I do.